What's up YouTube? This is Buckshot33 aka Boston Chris and I'm back with another haul video. So these are some books I picked up over the weekend at my local shop on uh, New England Comics which is having probably the biggest sale I've ever seen for a store that's not going out of business. I confirmed that with um, you know the manager of the store that I go to and um, they've been having a sale that's been increasing over the weeks. You know just basically every half week they go up 5% so last time it was 75% this time it's 80% off. So, of course, I went in and I had some fun. And um, I'm going to end up splitting the haul up into a few different, uh, basically like two uh, separate videos. Because, um, you know, I, I don't want to sit here and have a huge video for everybody. Actually, it might end up being three. Because I, I did pick up a good amount of books. And, um, you know, the overall price for them was really, really good. So, um, let me just go ahead and get into these books real quick. And um, just show you what I picked up. So for part one of my haul. So first and foremost, we have Avengers number 256. Um, this is the book right before the first appearance of Nebula. And so you look at the price tag, it was $1.50 for this book. And um, so at 80% off, I was able to pick up this and number 257 which actually is the first appearance of Nebula um, both of these I think I got for a dollar 36 just because I mean 80% off there's really not much there at the dollar 50 so you know I got both books um, I will say about this one um, so 256 unfortunately I didn't I didn't notice this when I picked it up I, I just you know saw it picked it up and bought it but um whoever had it um, and I, I'm going to assume it's somebody who had it for a long time when they were a kid. You can see, um, maybe on Hercules a little bit, that um, the person liked the book a lot. And they, I guess, wanted to trace on it and draw on it. So there's some ink from a pen on there. Um, and then, where is it? Over, where you see a uh, wasp, you can see she's colored in. Um, and then on um, Black Knight's leg, there's a little bit of uh, ink on there. So... Um, you know, obviously not a book that's going to be worth really anything, but it was just good to have, um, you know, in the collection so I can just read the story. So, um, you know, happy with that one. Um, 257, though, doesn't have any of that going on, which is awesome. Um, could use a little bit of a pressing. I don't know if you can tell in the book, but there's a little bit of rippling. Not water damage. Uh, I know there's rippling on the book itself. I'm sorry, on the uh, bag itself. So, at some point, I'm going to get this pressed out and see if I can improve that grade a little bit. Because, I, you know, definitely a first appearance, you know, got it for a steal, so I'm happy with that. Um, next up, we have Incredible Hulk, number 330. And this is the death of Thunderbolt Patterson. I'm sorry, yeah, Thunderbolt Patterson. What am I saying? Thunderbolt Patterson was a wrestler. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, Thunderbolt Ross, who actually um, is going to be in, I think it's the, the uh, United States Avengers. Um, coming up in the Marvel now, but th this is um, Betsy Ross's dad, General Ross, the guy who basically uh, puts helps put together the Thunderbolts. So um, this is his death issue. I picked it up. Um, you know, you can see the price I did twenty one dollars. So I picked this up for about what was it like five bucks or so, uh, five dollars and twenty cents or something like that. Not too bad. And then we also have. Um, Thor number 223. Um, and this one, I don't think anything super significant happens within the book. But when I looked at it, it was like really, really in good shape. Like if you can, let I me mean, just, I mean, don't mind the bag because the bag definitely has ripples. But, you know, the pages are all nice. There's nothing, you know, no rips, no tears. Sorry about that glare. Um, you know, the corners are all very sharp. And then the spine, no ticks, no, you know, the staples look nice. So overall, it's a really, really um, high-grade copy. And, um, you know, price tag of $14, but I didn't pay that much for it. Um, so, you know, paid basically, you know, one-fifth of the price of the book. So it's just like, you know, definitely a bunch of books that I'm happy to have in my collection. Um, you know... As far as keys, there's only two key issues within it, but, um, you know, just happy to be able to pick these books up 
for cheap and to see them in the store. So, um, you know, I'm hoping that sale continues. I'm hoping that, and I haven't checked just because every Wednesday they change it up. So um, they may cap it at um, 80. They may just end the sale altogether. I don't know. I mean, if it's 85%, I'm going to be in heaven. And I'm buying more stuff, hopefully. But um, we'll see because um, this, this week coming up, um, well, th this week in general, like, like I bought my ticket for Comic-Con last night. So, um, you know, about the weekend pass and, um, it's, it's pretty expensive, you know, it cost me over 150 bucks. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. I'm definitely going to be going to that. And, um, you know, that kind of did take a little bit of a chunk out of my, um, buying for, um, you know, this week as far as comics are concerned. But what I am going to do is, um, you know, I think I'm actually going to kind of take it back a little bit and, um, see what I have as far as, um, you know, funds and everything, because I want to be able to get some good stuff at the con. So I might be doing a little bit of saving up, and I do still have some things coming in from eBay um, that I've purchased that, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and unbox for everybody. So I will have content, I will have stuff to show, and, um, you know, more exciting than that, though, I'm going to go with the Comic-Con, so I'll have a bunch of different content from, you know, just all different types of stuff, you know, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And, um, you know, just happy to have, um, you know, happy to have my ticket purchased and ready. So, um, Comic-Con's in about two weeks, um, two weeks from this Friday. So, can't wait for that. Um, so definitely something that I'm, you know, looking forward to. Um, with that, I'm going to get going. I'm going to go ahead and um, end the video. Like I said, um, you know, I did buy a bunch of books in this haul. So, there will be a part two of this coming up. Um, and potentially a part three, depends on, um, you know, what... I feel like, because I, I, I think I'm going to try to do, um, you know, just kind of keep the books themed together instead of, you know, just showing a whole massive, you know, big, long amount of books that, you know, I, like, I, I don't want to go too, too far with it and just have people watching a super long video. So, um, with that, I'm going to get going. Um, please, uh, you know, comment, let me know what you thought, um, you know, like, subscribe if you haven't done it already, you know. Check me out. Um, if this is your first video, go back watch some of my other ones. Has some pretty cool stuff, and I will be having some really cool stuff coming from the future or for the future. So, with that, this is Buckshot Thirty Three, aka Boss and Chris, letting everybody know. Have a great night. Enjoy Comic Book Wednesday as it is Tuesday night. You know, go out there, get the books. Um, some pretty cool stuff coming out for tomorrow, and um, you know, happy collecting. As always, Buckshot. I'm out.